just getting off the 90 West, jumping on the 26 East. off Lincoln Rocks in the history books two month patrol all done all squared away got a good evaluation looking forward to my next trip I'm heading down south heading back to home base San Clemente California I'm gonna stop in a few places on the way down I'm gonna head to uh, my buddy Dave McCool cool McCool's play some golf uh, take my time, probably drive four or five hours a day. Don't put any pressure on the old hornet. And then uh, we'll get back with you, find something crazy going on, interesting for me to uh, scope on, and then I'll uh, let you know. So uh, let's hit the road. Okay, just getting off the 90 West, jumping on the 26 East. Beautiful view right here of the Columbia. Bridge. But I'm heading east. I think that's headed. That right there is going towards Seattle. Who would want to go to Seattle? They need, there should be a big sign up there, like one of them LED signs said, Do you really want to go to Seattle? If not, get off at 26 East and head towards Idaho. Everybody's going to Seattle, I guess. And good old Pete's heading towards Idaho on the 84 La Grande area. Might stop and say hi to the old boys over at the Mad Rock if it's not too late. Out back at the Wild Horse Casino, my old stomping grounds in Oregon. Left Washington, took the 97 south, 2 east, 28 east, um, 260 east, 80 down to the 82 south, 84 east, back here at the Wild Horse Casino. Oops, sorry to make you guys dizzy. See the hotel over there? The old sum, they got a bowling alley right over there, down there in the parking lot by herself. All the kids going to the bowling alleys. I wonder if they have masks on in this place. Who we're we'll find out. Huh? Beautiful hotel though. I do got cred here, so I might even get a free hotel. So we'll see. Nobody's wearing a mask. That's cool. Very cool. Scarlet Bow 84 East. Just left the Wild Horse Casino. Overnight sleep, parking lot. Very quiet, comfortable. Problemos heading into uh, La Grande, just past Immigrant Springs, my old stomping grounds. I had a couple of months there last year. Now I'm heading down towards La Grande. I hear a little clicking going on in the engine. I want to stop somewhere, hopefully, and they can check it out and make sure the Hornet's running fine and she's got no problems. Don't want to overstress her. So far, so good. And I uh, got a couple days probably before I get to uh, Reno, Nevada. I'm not going to push it. Hey, I love saying that. La Grande. La Grande River down there. This is the west side of town. Grande goes right through three exits on there. I got off at the west exit. Kind of cruise through, see if I can see any mechanic stars, shops, whatever you want to call them.
backs up sometimes, but she's doing 70 right now, smooth as silk. Sometimes it just feels like I have to push the pedal down harder, but I mean, we're on an incline. It's not like we're going straight downhill, but, uh, and it's cruising. I mean, it's like flying right now. It's weird, transmission or whatever it is. But, oh well, we're on the road. Still 84, I stopped at one of the auto places in town and uh, thinks that little tick, tick, well not tick, but the, 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 the noise, something's loose underneath or doesn't think it's engine, doesn't think it's the transmission. And he says, I'll be okay heading to Reno, so we'll see what happens. But uh, the Hornets is cruising along, baby. Thank you, baby. Yeah, let's keep this rolling. 84 East. Oh, thank the Lord, I'm running on fumes. I got stuck on the highway in the middle of the night, and I see a gas station. Oh my God, I think it was probably 160, 170 miles. No gas station, and I didn't think I needed gas. Had over three quarters of a tank. And thank God, there is a gas station inside. Look at that gas gauge. Ay, ay, ay. I guess it's not totally empty, but when you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's pitch black, this is such a great sight. And this is all burnt out. 395 South just passing Carson City. I mean, all the way up the mountains. Wow, this must have been some, some fire. Look at all these. Look at this. Wow. Hey, buddy. You there, huh? You checking me out? Oh, there's another one on top. Look at that guy. Hello. You guys checking me out? Old school Topaz Large RV Park Casino. Beautiful. I mean, look at all this old antique stuff on the wall. Just the smell of this place is just awesome. You know, this is old school. This is good old America right here. You know, why do we need the new and the brand new? And it's just, this is gorgeous. I know there's people love their classy stuff, but this is really cool little bar right here. Look at this lounge. <laughs> I just love it, baby. Ono Vista, Lee Vining Town, 6,000 people population, 5.59 a gallon, welcome to shitty California, where they take people that work for a living and their taxes, welcome to California, Lee Vining, Love it. Beautiful little motel on the right there. Cool little restaurant. A lot of motels here in one little block. Mono Lake, Yosemite is up, up ahead there. Wow, this is beautiful town.
cool. Very so cool. Wow. Lakeview Lodge. There she goes. Lee Vining. I'm going to tell you right now, a little update, 1993 Chevy G30, 94 Hornet, Damon Hornet cab put on there, obviously, the 93 chassis, 94, and I'm going to tell you what, I've been around the country the last three years, and I know she's a vehicle, but this girl took me around the country for three years, back and forth to New York and back, Florida and back, Oregon, Washington, 100 degree weather, up hills, up mountains, 8,000, 10,000 feet. And uh, I have to give uh, kudos. Obviously, when we were in South Carolina, the uh, top cab window smashed out from hail, big time hail. And they replaced this in New Jersey with a plexiglass window and took out the frame and the glass and I can easily bring it down to the dealership over here to have that replaced by insurance. But uh, I seem to be okay with this plexiglass right now. I'm gonna clean it up, see what it feels like and get the window done, but uh, and maybe just go back to the plexiglass, but uh, she's done a great job. I don't know how many miles I have to look and see what we put on it, but uh, she got me home through all the weather, through everything. No big, no maintenance problems, no tire problems. The only thing I had in the last trip, four months, the transmission seal, shift shaft seal, and the transmission pan was leaking. But, uh, they said it was the shift shaft seal and the transmission pan, but after they replaced it, it still leaked a little bit. And then they had to go into torque converter seal inside the transmission, take it out, and supposedly, and hasn't leaked, so hopefully that's, uh, that's taken care of. Four months. I just put a quart of oil in the last four months, that's it. And that's, I put it in right before I left. Oops. 